Today's my daughter's 10th birthday, hence the decorations, but I wanted to try the Delaney Child's messy viral TikTok bun on somebody that has short, fine, thin hair. I've always had fine, thin hair. It's just how I was born. And right now it's pretty short. I'm kind of trying to grow it out. If there's any tip I can give to my fine, thin hair girlies, it's do not cut bangs or curtain bangs unless you're gonna be fully committed to them because the curtain bangs or the bangs take away from so much volume you can possibly have in the front. If your hair is all one length and it's all like straight, no layers and everything, your hair will just look way more full on the bottom. So I'm trying to grow those out so I don't have as much volume to work with in the front. But I did get some clip-in extensions that match my hair because I have some other ones that I talked about in previous videos, but they are much blonder and they don't match my current hair color. But these, they do, believe it or not, they do because in the back of my hair, it's a little bit darker. It's just these front pieces that are pretty blonde. So what I'm gonna do is, I saw Ju Julia Havens in one of her vlogs. She used clip-in extensions. These are from Amazon. These are like random ones that I found because I wanted something that would match my hair. And this is the brand that did. It's Ease Youth, Ease Youth. And I, to be honest, a lot of the extensions on Amazon are kind of the same. And because these are clip-ins, I'm not gonna be washing them as much if at all so they should last you a pretty long time and I feel like you can get away with affordable ones as long as it's not synthetic hair but in one of her vlogs she used clip-in extensions kind of clipped them in I'm not sure how she did it I'm gonna clip it in upside down I don't know if she did it upside down and then use that to add volume and length for this viral messy bun so I'll leave the link to the TikTok for the actual Delaney Child's messy bun and I'm gonna try 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 to you know accomplish that in today's video we'll see to start I'm gonna part my hair Probably, no, maybe a little higher because I want a lot of hair underneath here that I'm going to flip up to cover the extensions. I think I'm going to do one row. I feel like I can get away with one row, but we'll see. I know this looks like a mess. And then I'm going to clip a three-piece extension piece right here. what we're working with. I know it looks fabulous. So what she does, Delaney, she leaves these pieces out. I don't have bobby pins, so I'm not going to be able to fully do her method because she kind of pins them back using bobby pins. I'll show you guys later, or if you watch the video, then you know. But I'm just going to leave these out, and then the rest of it, I'm going to pull up. I don't have a mirror, so I'm using my camera as a mirror, but I'm just trying to make sure that the clips are kind of covered, because the last thing you want to do is see any clips. I'm going to grab an elastic. I'm going to grab one of these, because these clear elastic ones, if you feel like these will damage your hair, use something like this, but I'm going to use this. I only have one of these to tie the hair, but you want to create a ponytail. I think, right? Yes. I think she creates a ponytail and then does this and then she kind of like just creates this messy bun situation, I guess. Wait, I think she goes like this. I'm not 100% sure like what the situation is. I mean, she has a ton of hair. This is why I feel like it's so much harder with fine thin hair. I watch a few TikToks. You know what I'm doing? I'm gonna grab the Day Dry Shampoo, which this dry shampoo I just got it from Sephora is actually really good. I've used the Acure one and I like that one, but that one's like a baby bottle where it has the holes in the top and you twist it and then you gotta shake it. This one's better. First of all, it smells so good. I like the applicator on this so much more. You just gotta make sure you're properly, because it like really squirts. I'm just gonna add some texture to this hair. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. And then I'm gonna very gently tease back home. This is mainly the extensions. She doesn't do this, but again, I find them here. And I don't know, we're just gonna kind of play around with it. This looks like a ballerina bun. It's not really the look I'm going for. Once you kind of have something up top, she takes another elastic and goes over like so. I'm gonna have to go twice, otherwise it won't hold. And then just play around with it. It looks very much like a sock bun, and that's not really the look we're going for. So let's take that out and try this again. Okay, I'm gonna do like a water fountain. We're creating a water fountain. This is how I used to do my sock buns, actually. I used to wear buns so much throughout my pregnancies. They're just so easy. 
So we're going to do a sock one or like a waterfall one and then I'm going to use this to kind of, I don't know, I guess wrap around. I'm not sure what we're doing here. Okay, attempt number three. <laughs> you guys, the struggle is real. Okay, we're back to the waterfall. The water fountain, I mean. Is that the water fountain look? We're going to grab the hair tie and I think at the same time I'm going to like twist some of the pieces. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? No, this is not it. This is not it. We are going back to square one. To do this look, you need bobby pins. Otherwise, it's not going to be the same if you don't use bobby pins. But I don't have bobby pins anywhere. So I'm going to try to do this as best as I can without them. But it's not going to be 100% the same. And instead of brushing my hair up, I'm just going to messily put it up, tie it, Alright, I have to somehow secure these pieces and these pieces like this. So I think what I'm going to do is pull them in with a the ponytail, grab another elastic over those pieces. This is not at all how the original went, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to pull some out a little bit. Well, it definitely looks nothing like Delaney Child's bun. I went ahead and curled these pieces. Curling it like, makes a world of a difference. And then also the hair in the back was falling because it's so short and I don't have bobby pins. So, But I do have this clippy thing. It's like those clips that people use to get their hair out of the way when they're doing their makeup. It's the only thing that I had and I tried to conceal it as best as I could and I kind of messed around with the bun a little bit. And I still might mess around with it a bit more and I guess I'll learn as I go but this is basically I don't know how many minutes 15 minutes or so of me struggling to do the viral messy bun but I guess you live and learn you live and learn and you get better as you go and this is definitely my note to myself and to you guys to get some bobby pins that match your hair color if you're going to try this because I, I feel like it will make the best difference you can kind of position the hair however you want it and then pin it up that way and the same thing with the bun you can like pull it pin it so that it looks a lot more full stuff like that so I feel like bobby pins 100% would be would have been more helpful and I'll buy some and try this again when I do but as of now this is what we are working with here's a little bit of a 360 I don't know it's, it's the best we can do right now with what we've got okay so let me know what you guys think down below and then I'll also link this highly recommend if you love dry shampoo I actually stopped using dry shampoo but for days where you really want to get rid of oiliness this stuff it works really well and it smells so good and then if you have short fine thin hair like I do then I highly recommend some clip-ins just like adding one row is really helpful for achieving this look if you are blessed with long luscious locks so happy for you I'm trying to grow my hair out we'll get there but for now you know we're working with our options here so I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> struggling in this video Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.